Hi and welcome back to Green Country Custom Baits. I'm Jeff uh, and today's uh, topic, uh, we're going to be doing a painting session over my favorite pattern, the Zombie Kraken. Uh, this is a 3X D body. My son and I fished a uh, little uh, fishing derby here a few days ago, and we had several meet a power pole and break some lips out, lost a few baits, typical stuff that happens. And uh, uh, so I need to do a, a, a major uh, repaint and get stocked back up on my favorite color pattern. So after the intro, um, we're going to spray some paint, uh, but if you haven't done so, if this is the first time you visit my channel, make sure you check out uh, in the description. I've got links to all my other videos. If you're a beginner out there looking to get into custom painting, uh, I've got a complete tutorial um, uh, playlist there. Uh, we've got some DIY videos, and uh, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe. And those of you out there that are continuously supporting us, I appreciate that. And uh, But without further ado, let's go paint a zombie. Okay, make sure your frisket film is pressed up firmly. Again, we're going to go over with the undertone of candy yellow. Auto Air, Createx, candy yellow. Here's a new piece of fresh to get. Well, generally, it'll last you quite a few spray sessions. Uh, really, the only way it doesn't work is it gets to where it doesn't stick to the stick to the bait very well. So these are rock collar fifties and. They were a phantom green pumpkin. And again, just sandblasted the, make sure the sides and the bellies are clear paint. You can leave some up here because we're gonna next base coat over the top of this. So we'll come back when we shoot the white. Okay, as a base coat over the top of that undertone, we're gonna go wicked white. So you can see this one's getting, probably should have replaced this one. We're gonna to try to make it work. If the edge is standing up, you just press it back or just spray it. So the next color over uh, over the white, we're going to go with a transparent canary yellow. Okay, this will give us great transition between the candy yellow and we're just going to cover all the white up. Still running about 30 PSI on pressure right now. We're not doing any kind of detail work. We'll go 
ahead and hit one more here. And we'll probably darken this up with two coats. Really want it to get a little more orange tint to it, which is one thing that canary yellow brings out. I'm gonna hit it with one more pass over. Kind of darken that up, bring a little more of the oranges out. Okay, next up we're gonna start doing a little bit of detail work and working around those uh, the frisket paper edges and with some uh, uh, brown colors and we'll be right back and show you that. Okay, we need to turn the pressure down to about 20. And we're gonna go back over. We have some auto air or auto born um, just a brown, light brown color. And we're gonna do some detail work. Um, not super detailed because we want, we want to shade in each one of these crawl plates and do some connections up at the top, so. Okay, just like that. We'll do some brown splatter on those as well. Uh, we'll hit one more here. Hit this little rock crawler. And we're mainly just painting onto the frisket itself on the first pass. We want this pretty dark at the bottom and try to lighten toward the top. Not looking for real straight lines, anything like that. Just make some a little, little irregular. Pull the airbrush back, give it a little top. And come back and get a little more shading up into it. Okay, we've got several more here we'll do. We'll come back and we'll do the, uh, the black. I'm gonna leave this brown in this brush. Being that I've got several brushes, we'll do some brown splatter and uh, a little bit of black. Maybe add a few more details. We may use a, a stencil or two, so uh, hang on tight. We'll uh, finish these up, come back with black. 
Okay, so we're gonna go right along. We wanna make sure we get black covering just the edge of all this frisket, uh, basically the stencil. We're gonna do that with auto air black. It's a lot thicker paint, sprays a lot more finer detailed lines. Um, still running at about 2021 20, PSI. So, see if I make sure I get this in the camera. Tip dry. You notice a skip. Stop for just a second. Oop, oh, we got a dang clog going on here. Okay, we needed to add a little 411 reducer to that. Paint is pretty pretty thick. Still giving us fits here. Probably time for a full out airbrush clean. Irregularly, irregularities. Uh, let's hit one more. Maybe we'll get things going a little better for you here, but this is good that you can see it. Definitely time for a full-on airbrush clean. When your brush isn't acting right, time for complete disassembly. See, it is just not wanting to operate at all. Kind of soak that tip in a little of your cleaner. To help it out. And of course, I got a lot now I'm bubbling. There we go. Now we're in a lot better shape. Let's see if we can't finish this up for us. Okay, on a few of them, we're going to use this FX template. It's a texture template. Comes with three. I'm just going to add a little bit of black texture to it. Most of your crawl patterns have some raised bumps on them. And that's what this will represent.
So we can do it that way. And we'll also just do some, some stippling or splatter. That's kind of up to your preference. So if we do the stippling effect, we're going to move our needle cap. Showed this in other videos, but in case you haven't seen that, we're going to bring our pressure down to about five to four to five. And we can just boom, boom, hit it with a little black splatter. Real simple, real quick. And we want to do the same with the brown. Okay, we're going to just remove our frisket. Uh, you can just leave that body clear and some of that undertone will show through. Or just go back with your candy yellow and just lightly Lightly touch that up, and basically that's our finished bait before clear. So, all right, that's the zombie cracking. We're signing out.